Hey guys, on today's video, we're looking at VEX 25 1S index on the 4 hour chart. Uh, as you can see on the previous price action around this point, we have been pushing to the downside. And then if you try and look left, you'll see that we have been uh, going to the upside and then we came into this area here whereby we push to the downside for a little bit creating a higher low around here and then we initially pushed back to the upside so this is the break of structure whereby we got this push to the upside after this higher low here and then we had this area here of which it was our last candle for us to get like those buying opportunities of which this is the OB that we were looking forward to taking and then as you can see the price action pushed to the upside with higher high higher lows and a higher high higher low higher high and a higher low around this point so as you can see we initially pushed to the upside this was the last higher high of which we had and then we had the higher low expecting the a new higher high around this area here of which we created equal highs around this area or i can just use like this one here but as you can see we created like equal highs and then at the stage what i'm expecting to see is for the market to break this higher low around this point then we have a confirmed direction for us to continue pushing to the downside and then as you can see we had like a few imbalanced price action of which this can be our target if we're taking those selling opportunities this is an imbalanced area and then we have a few imbalances at the lows this also can be another inefficient price action around this area so this can be another initial target an initial target that we can use and then around this point also we had like some equal lows of which it's liquidity around here and then this also can be a liquidity sweep as you can see if you just squeeze the price action around here and then just focus on this area this can also be a liquidity sweep and then let me just remove that and then let's switch to an hour chart and then on the hour chart that is where you can see like the price action very nicely this is the liquidity sweep that i was talking about around this area and then let me just put it back like this and then this is the overall push to the upside we had the liquidity sweep and then we push to the downside so now we are trading the substructure up until we break this area here fill the imbalance and then if we break like this structure that i was talking about here this higher low around here then we have a confirmed push to the downside or we have a change of direction whereby we instead of looking for buying opportunities now we are looking for those selling opportunities and then fill the overall imbalances that we have in the markets and then let me just make sure that i'm catering for the right structures the right areas and then the reason why i'm calling this area an imbalanced price action is because we didn't get a retest around this area here we didn't get a retest of this uh demand area and then let me just copy this arrow here and then we also didn't get like a retest around this point so now i'm just refining the zones as you can see here and then around this point we had like some type of a retest around this area also we had a retest so this means this is a, an efficient price action so this area here is the one that was not retested retested as you can see here so this is another inefficient price action area so we can have like two targets around this area that is if we confirm the downtrend that we are about to have or a shift in market structure if we break this area here so you can just trade like the substructure of which is this area here as you can see we had like a few break of structures going to the lows just to confirm like the price action as you can see we have a break of structure here we have another break of structure here of which you can see it like on the lower time frame let me switch to the 30 minute time frame that is where you can see like everything clearly from that time frame so on the 30 minute time frame the liquidity sweep as i said the break of structure first break of structure this was the higher low that we had on this substructure we had the first break around here 
and then price action came back and then we have another break of structure around this point so initially we are still intact so we are still looking for the selling opportunities and then on the 15 minute time frame so i can just use like this area here instead of the other one so this is the area that i can use around here and then this is the last candle that broke structure of which this is our other block around here and then we expect the market to clearly push up tap this area and then we look for those selling opportunities anticipating that we can have like a shift of price action or off market structure whereby we break the slow here and after breaking the low then we know that we are going to feel this imbalanced price action here and another imbalanced price action of which it's at the lows of which it's here so uh, that is how i'm seeing like this uh, trading trade idea and let me just check if i'm leaving anything behind and then initially for this type of setup what i'll be looking for is uh a let me check on the five minute and just make sure that everything is okay also just because you may get like some imbalanced price action or you can have to like refine the zones just like this so this is a refined area and then this is the reason why I will switch to the 15 minute time frame, just because we have two zones around this area. Another zone is this one of which is imbalanced. And then this one also is not is imbalanced also. This area here. Let me just do this. Two areas are imbalanced. So on this one, what I'll be expecting is for the market to give us like a confirmed entry whereby you get like a slow push to the upside. And then after reaching this point, what happens is that, let me just do this. Change the color to white. And then what happens is that the market will just clearly push to the upside. After reaching this point, you get like a higher high, a higher low, and a lower high. And then the market will just change direction from this point. So this is a confirmed entry whereby I'm waiting for a small break of structure. And then after that, that is when I'll be looking at the extreme of this high here for us to get like those selling opportunities from here. And then for the risk entry, that is where I'll be looking for a push to the upside, breaking this imbalanced price action here and then tapping this area. Then we look for those selling opportunities from there, of which this is the risk entry that I look for forward to seeing each and every time. So I take uh, risk entries at the extreme of the zones like this area here and then my stop loss no i didn't put it properly so just like this the top of the structure i put like my entry here my stop loss is just above this point and then i'm targeting the overall lows or the break of structure and then for the risk entry that is where i wait for that confirmation entry as i told you so uh that is it for today's video and then i hope you enjoyed like the setup we'll be going to take it and then i'll see you on another one